How's it going guys? We got a new knife today. I just received it. It's the Mass Drop Terrazula CTF Compact Tactical Folder. And this is produced by uh, Wee Knife for Mass Drop. Sorry to get out the package. I've right, been looking at it a little bit just to get an overview of it. But it's got nice OD G10 scales. Nice chamfering. This really nice pocket clip. It's kind of, I call it a hybrid where it's milled, but it's still shaped like a, a traditional spring clip. So you still have some nice springiness to it. It's not real stiff like a traditional milled pocket clip. It's got a nice um, stonewash bronze on the liner, on the clip and the titanium hardware. And let's, let's start to look at the blade itself. A nice little flipper tab, a little bit of jumping on it. Let's see how it opens up. Open up opens up nice. It's got a nice blade. It's got his famous dragon logo. As you see, this is made in uh, S35VN. So kind of what you expect from a, a Wii knife mass drop. I'm not sure what V222 means. This probably refers to, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Take a look at the actual thumb disc. It's really nice to finish it on it. It's got the knurled side. It's got a bevel and it's got this nice bronze stone wash on it. And then another titanium screw holding that to the blade. So that's really nice, really nice touches. So overall it looks like a simple knife, but it has really nice touches, pretty well made. Now with your thumb disc, you can do your traditional roll it open nice and easy. And if you get in here right, you can finger flip it open. So I always enjoy a knife that has multiple ways to deploy it. So we're gonna take this apart. Um, I do wanna reduce the lock bar tension just a hair. I think it's a little too tight. So we'll take it apart, look how it's put together, look how it's fit and finishes and do some adjustment on it. So first thing first, open your knife. T8 Harbor, which I appreciate. T8 for the pivot and T8 for the lower part of the scale. Pretty shallow right there, as you can see. So they're just real short cap screws. They're not countersunk or anything like that. Um, just kind of what you expect, nothing really to see here. Some recesses for your, uh, your screws here, which is pretty interesting the way they did it. So instead of having the screws go all the way through, they kind of hide the two screws underneath the scale. So you only have two screws as opposed to maybe if you would have three screws. Is it worth that effort? Uh, not really, I don't think so, but it is nice touch to see him go that far, just make it look a little bit cleaner. So we have the same nice stonewashed bronze to match the rest of the knife. And this is the first knife I had from Wii where we have the uh, blade stop on the internal on the blade, which a little uh, half, half radius right here. So that looks pretty good. All right, let's take out, let's take the rest of this thing apart. Real short screws, same as the one you hold the scale on, it looks like. I'll pop the other side out. So I don't think you have to worry about mixing these up, they're all the same, so that's good. That's nice. So they actually put a metal washer. Now this is an excellent touch. I would not expect from this budget knife. So that's really nice for them to put a metal washer on the liner. This is gonna prevent your hard, uh, look like ceramic brands, we'll take a look at it. Digging into your titanium, it's gonna last a lot longer. This knife should have no issues in the future with wear. So we can get that washer to come out. That thing is in there, guys. Hold up, that's right, get my little tool to pop it out. I just want to see what it looks like underneath. Here we go. 
pretty much what I expect is just some oil. That's what's keeping it on there. Let's clean that up real quick. I always look at the machining on counter boards to see if it looks real rough. I was done with the end mill. Some people use a proper tool to get a nice face on here. This one looks really good. It's not rough. looks nice and smooth in here. So overall, this finish is really good. You even notice this right here. They had to countersink the screw just a little bit. Just a little bit. So you see that. The screw sits in there just a little bit. So they could have their scales even thinner. So that's a really nice touch. Really well done. All right. Let's take a look at our blade here. It's a little ball bearing, single row. Uh, these are ceramic bearings. So that's a, that's a nice plus too. Great. I mean, this is really great for the price here. Pop the pin out on the other side. So I'm assuming this is all titanium. I'll try to clean this up. Maybe it's two screws. I don't have my, yeah, I do have a magnet on hand. It's for my bowl. Okay. So it is magnetic. Okay, so we have a titanium screw. Um, a steel... I don't know what you'd call this. A shaft, I suppose. Steel pivot. And then just titanium screws. That's really nice. So I really don't like where the whole thing's titanium because you are going to beat it up and dent it and wear it out. So that's a real nice touch. See how it fits through here. You can tell it right away. See it? Look at that. It doesn't fall out. Nice fit and finish. That's a real nice fit. So no issue there at all. Let's clean this blade real quick. Again here, I look at the counter bore for the bearings. It looks really clean, looks like it was machined well, and then blasted. So both sides look really good. Uh, your D10 track looks good. Just well made. Now one thing I'm kind of starting to go more towards my knives, I try to go with thinner grinds. As you see, this is just a full flat grind, so you are, you are going to have a thick blade and a thick tip, but it's going to be a strong blade. So if you want to just beat on it, you know it's going to be a tough knife. It's going to take whatever you throw at it. So we're all pretty good. The design is a classic design. You know, it's not going to be as uh, as fancy as some of your newer knives we are putting out, but this is a very classic design. Let's say this is a t the first tactical folder, the, the kind of the knife that started also pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and take this other side apart. Slide off your uh, backspacer, and that's pretty cool. So you see your uh, your two screws for your pocket clip, they're fully recessed. So that's pretty nice. So that's going to tell me there's not a lot of material left how deep that counter bore is so let's okay those are not t8 those are t6 so i'm gonna grab my other screw screwdriver okay so these two are t6s or maybe not t6s it's a little loose for a t6 no maybe it is t6 they put a good amount of lock time on those. Okay, that's a lot better. So that makes sense. So these are your... Uh, I can't remember what they're called right now. Your tapered screws, but that's not the correct term. I, the, the word eludes me right now. But these are your flush mount screws. They're not counter bore. Counter sink, it just has a chamfer, so they sit flush with the surface. So these two are unique for the uh, pocket clip. Let's take these out. Oof. These are pretty tight. Oh, we're gonna have to leave that on there. I did buy this new in box, but looks like he tried to take the pocket clip out and he stripped this one screw. 
because I got no grip for that. So I'm gonna take this apart later somehow. Mm. Let me see if I could actually rotate this though. Do what I want to do with adjusting the tension. Should let me rotate it. Oh, it's not because those are counterboard. Never mind. So there's a slightly counterboard into the scale, so I can't remove it. I have to get the clip out somehow. Hmm. Let me see what I can come up with on video. Something I could fit in here that fits in here. No. Okay, there we go. I just pushed really hard. <laughs> so, man, this screw is not going to take many more times being removed. As you can see, I don't know if you can probably see or not see. It's a damage inside. So I got to be careful with that for sure not put it tight um pocket clip well made look at that they put a little key on here so it gets key to your uh, your scale so it sits on there it's not going to be rotating on you that's a really nice touch just well made look at that all that machining to get this nice piece okay now i got to where i wanted which was this bare scale side Give it a quick wipe down. Take a look at this. So it looks like we have a ceramic detent ball. I don't see if there's any carbonization or anything like that. It might just straight up be titanium, but so far this thing has no lock stick, so that's not an issue. Besides that, it's just as good as the other side. It's pretty interesting the way they actually uh made this jimping it's like they drill with the mill straight down like this and you get a pretty cool half end of a mill right there pretty nice so we're gonna adjust this tension real quick on here a couple ways to kind of get an idea of how much i'm moving it i measure it i'm right at about four millimeters Right about four millimeters, so let's go to about 3.5. So we get it pinned a little bit. It's still at four. Sometimes you gotta put a good amount of tension just to get it to start breaking the other way. Try to hold this kind of weak at the upper, so I'm trying to hold a little bit lower. measurement mm, a little bit under four so I moved a little bit a little bit more I think I'm trying to feel the tension right there let's see where we're at mm, a little under four like 3.5 3.6 that feels pretty soft so we'll leave it right there we'll see how it feels so we'll slap this back together without the clip because I might replace that, um, what do you call it, replace that screw, see if I have something else that'll work. So for now, I can leave it like this. Stick my pivot in there. Throw my blade in here. Where is my backspacer? Super easy to put together, as you can see. I already forgot one step. I don't know what to mean bearings when I'm putting together off videos. I always forget them. <laughs> I always forget something on the pivot, bearing a washer or something. Slap this together. Make sure that fits all nice. Put 
put a little two countersunk screws in here. Uh, these don't have many threads, so I would not be putting these tight at all. These are, these are really small screws, just a couple inch pounds. That's it. Slap on our pivot. Come on, get in there with the T8. Bot where I wanted those are the two uh, pocket clip screws. The last outer scale screw. Oh. So it's that last one that was, oh, there it goes, it falls right in that time. Nice and easy. Those are really thin, so you don't want to go too much. No blade play. So let's see how this is now. So it opens nice and good. Yeah, it's just it falls shut now. A lot better. But yeah, I think that's pretty successful. I'll probably take it apart. So I'm gonna do about that screw for the pocket clip. But yeah, for the money, I think this goes for 150 bucks. It's really well made. Thanks for watching, guys.